our covenant service by the grace of God is over 24 years now or 23 years now and uh, God keeping us alive we have never missed one month whether I'm around or not So, Commander service has been a service where the grace of God upon this house is renewed. We appear before God in a confident culture, reminding Him we have come again as we have agreed with you. Dominion Gate is in partnership with God of heaven. We don't know any other God. And the possibilities of the God of heaven is our motivation. We believe in what our God can do. We don't have a right to query him when things we don't expect happens. But we submit to his will and we forge ahead with more confidence that his God is in heaven, is aware, he knows. We also believe that before anything will happen to anyone in this house, God is aware. So we have a responsibility of reminding God, we know you are aware. And our faith rises above our doubt that God is aware. I'd like you to know that this is June 2024. Praise God. It's a very important month in the destiny of this house. And we have had deep revelations of God in the month of June. I remember it was in June that God gave us Davidic anointing. I went it all, then went through the dictionary to look for Davidic. It went through the Google and they could not find it. Joyce may remember. And they said, What will you do? I said, That's what the Lord said. But now, open Google, open the dictionary. Everything is there. So God has invented words through this house that have become adopted globally. I remember it was in this month that God gave us the revelation of Elijah. Praise God. That series, I think we have to search for it. It was a series of fire. It was also in June, one of the June, that God gave us the revelation of Daniel, the fourth man in the fire. This a heavy, heavy insight that I have not forgotten. I don't know whether you have forgotten. But it's not new because the Bible says in the sixth month that God visited Mary through Angel Gabriel, as Dr. Mary just said, through Angel Gabriel, he visited a woman who was a virgin and told her that God had blessed her with what she was not expecting. When God comes to you to tell you that he has blessed you with what you are not dreaming about, you're without. And Mary said, how can it be? I don't know a man. I have not defined myself. I am just innocent, just planning for my marriage. I know that you will conceive in your womb. You are the prepared vessel that is going to bring forth the redemptive plan of God for humanity. And Mary said, let it be unto me according to your word, O Lord. So I'd like to remind you that the month of June is a month of encounter. It's a month of deep insight into the mysteries of God. And this morning we began the fifth series of our 21 days fasting and prayer with the team My Eyes on You. My Eyes on You. And that is to say, take away your fear. My eyes is on you. And my eyes is on you to do several things. And that is the word I have for you this morning. The eyes of God 
will come upon you in the month of June. So you are God's target. When God's eyes is on you, you become his target so he can visit you. He can do what? He can visit you. And when he visits you, you can have an encounter. You can experience transformation. You can miraculously be established and planted in his path. And then you can conquer every battle that I have contested against your dreams. Turn your Bible with me to Jeremiah chapter 24. Jeremiah 24. We'll take it from there and then we will um, conclude very fast. I know today is busy. Are you happy to be here? Verse 6. For I will set my eyes upon upon them for God. I will set my eyes upon them for God. When the word of God said, I will set my eyes upon them for good, it means that sometimes God can set his eyes for judgment. Is that correct? So when the eyes of God is going to switch over on you for good, it means that the eyes of God can also switch over on your enemies for judgment. So God sees you. And he's saying, I should tell you, I will set my eyes upon you for good. Now, devotional this morning, this is all we dealt with. I will set my eyes upon them for good. Them means the people of God, the partners of God, the family and leadership of this house, our pastors, our elders, our deacon, our members, I will set my eyes upon them for good. So, permit me to say that you have entered your mode of divine goodness. Number two, I will bring them again to this land. That, what does that mean? It means that God is going to visit you and there shall be restoration and reconnection every appointed place where you have been displaced denied frustrated i see god say i am bringing you back to the place where your life will count where your values shall be counted and where your dignity shall be revealed So June 2024 shall be your season of recognition and restoration. Come on, shop. Someone shouted, recognition. Aborted relationship designed by God, attacked by witchcraft, shall be healed. You know, relationship is key to whatever we become alive. And there's no good relationship that the devil will not try. And when he tries it, some of us will say, let him go, let me go. You can never live alone. If God is in it, the devil will test it. Sometimes, people that God are connected to your life to make it what you should be, the devil will just come and do one little thing and you are all apart. And one day you start hearing, this one I become this, this one I become this. This month, broken relationship shall be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ. And whatever belongs to you in this land, where God has planted you, you shall take delivery of it. Are you still here? And the third one, and I will build them. I will build them. You know, the Bible says, and I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail. When the Bible says, I will build them, it means I will not only recover them, I will go ahead 
to make sure that the things against them, like the Midianites, are removed. All right? The doubts in their heart are removed. The enemies that is saying they can never make it will be silenced. Strange voices attacking your dreams will be disappointed. You are the house that God is ready to build this month. And one way God builds his people is that it will come back by visitation, give them sweet dreams, praise God, open the Bible passages. You saw Dr. Mary opening the Bible. That's just telling you, I have been awake this morning. I have done some few things. This is what God is showing to me. You know, you start reading and you start understanding. You start defining yourself. Yesterday morning, God said to me, tell your people to learn how to define themselves. If you don't have a knowledge of yourself, if you don't know who you are, you can never become anything. One of the most important things about life is to seek to know who you are and live your life. Are you here? Many of you has no, you have no direction. The Bible talks about every winds of doctrine. I'm talking like this because this is a covenant service. You have to be strong. You have to be focused. Every man and woman making it a lie. Are men and women that have been able to discover who they are. Are we here? What they can do. Where they can do what they can do. And they are so determined. God said to Joshua, you must be courageous and very courageous. The journey of life is not going to be easy. Is it going to be easy? But you have to be strong. Strong in your spirit. Strong in your mind. Strong in everything that you do. I'm watching um, Rose since he came in here. Okay? There's no, no training we want to do. You don't see her. Okay? She first of all starts attending the foundational class. After a while, we say, okay, we want to, we have customer care. She registered. Okay? And from there, she joined the usher. Or her, nobody talked to her. She just looked around. She joined. How old is she? In the church. But before we know it, I don't know. I didn't know when she carried herself to children's church. Praise God. At another point, she has registered to go and do improve on her care trade. I see her as a common instrument, determined to add value to her life. If you watch her on Sunday when they were taking them on the sword, I said, wow. So keep it up. That's what we're talking about. And then, of course, Bose. Okay? Bose has suddenly become very strong. Praise God. Very strong. There's nothing we want her to do. I will be on her, Abraham will be on her. And then, and she runs an independent business. Sometimes we take the whole day. And many a times we run into a situation where we need a bailout, give us money, and they will look up. We are not going to ask her, Do you have the money? Give us the money. And neighbor will get their, their office there, uh, they have the same office. But sometimes you need to enter the office and see the argument. But when they come to meeting needs of this house, praise God. They have a way of navigating it. The church will pay. He did it yesterday. Focus. There's something you can do. And you have to accept that I am not a liability. I am just not uh, just a packed train. I am on mission. I am in this house to take a place. Are we here? I can do all things to Christ that strengthens me. You have to be determined. You have to be governed. You have to be courageous. And in the month of June, start taking a step. I mean, here, yeah, a step. I've been doing these things like this, doing these things like this. All she was telling me last night, Mama Cora in the morning I said, You are taking, you are, you are branching into this guest mandate this morning. He said, No, she's going out with me. On that, that rain, I, there's nothing I did not do to stop them from going out in the rain. 
And when they came out, she told me, all of this rain today, beat on mama. I said, I asked her. And she still slept around 1 a.m. I'm working on a few things. It is because our spirit tells her, this is what I have to do. You are not strong because you are younger. No. If you look at Pastor Mary, it is her spirit. Praise God. So, build your spirit. Build your dream. Believe in yourself. Determine within yourself. Pursue your goal. Are we here? Pursue your goal. And I tell you, this shall be your moment. God is not joking with his words. You remember what we're saying? Hmm? I will build them. I will build them. A songwriter said, Lord, if you can use anything, I'm available. You can use me. Use me. And God cannot use you beyond the level of your revelation and determination. Yes, God will use you. But you must be courageous and determined that, yes, God, you can use me. Praise God. You can use me. Behold, everything about dominion gate is faith. In God. What is born in our spirit is born everywhere. Elisha came yesterday and he saw the project going on there. And I told her that even a neighbor, they are just, they, built, they brought down all their altar. And by yesterday, that was why Emma was not yet. Emma had been busy working there. In the camp, the gatehouse has got into the lintel. And they're doing the tiling of one of the rooms. Everything is going on because we felt that God had trusted us with those properties. And Lagos is getting hotter. We need to show that this thing belongs to us. Praise God. And we need to demonstrate that we are the owner. God cannot build you, okay, when he gives you a dream and you are not committed to your dream. You have to process your dream. Are we here? Process your dream. Define the dream. All of you are strong. And if you, if, if you can understand this, if you can understand this, that all of us are strong, you need to know that our faith is the revelation of our strength. I can do all things. Do I have a witness in the house? Through who? So, which means Christ is the one working it in me. So, I say, I can do all things. Through Christ that strengthens me. So, the strength you need to spend is not physical strength. It's spiritual strength. When we come to the covenant service, is to remind us of what God can do. Dave Williams sent me a prayer last night from the U.S. And he said, Patrick, the Lord will bless you in the month of June. But please think before you speak. And that reminds me of our message two Sundays ago when I was asking you, think. Before you talk, listen, listen, and listen, and listen, and listen before you respond. Praise God. So, God simply sent that prayer to let me know that if any one of us here under this leadership is going to make it, we must be strong thinkers. We must be strong listeners. And we must be disciplined on what we hear. Three things. Strong what? Shout it like you mean it. Strong listeners. And then disciplined vessels. We must be disciplined and all. To begin to act on what we have received. From our thought and from what we have listened to. The whole essence of listening is to receive direction. Are we here? The angel only came to Mary to direct her. 
And all they wanted to see Mary is for Mary's spirit to accept the direction. You shall conceive in your womb. The angel did not touch her. You shall conceive. It's a sound. Are we here? If you don't understand the sound around you, you can't understand the life around you. Every sound that, may, that happens around you is defining the life around you. Are we here? There can be sound of war. And that is telling you, run no. Praise God. And there can be sound of joy. And that is telling you, great things is happening here. Let me come nearer. Sound defines you, defines your environment, defines your moment. That's why I don't like noise. You know, why we call it noise? It's a sound without definition. What is noise? And every sound you cannot define, cannot direct you to anywhere. It will grant you. So, stop being a noise maker. Christians are sound producers, not noise makers. They produce positive sound that command and respect their environment. Are we here? So you can be able to understand the voice of God. You, you see, sometimes when our voice goes up on the ceiling, it doesn't make us strong. They sometimes make us stupid. People don't hear you because you shout. People hear you because they understand the sound you are shouting is producing. Praise God. Years back, I was leading a group of youth fellowship and we met a man who was very rich. He invited us to his house and we got to his house. And we saw the man who was very rich. You will remember. And we asked him, sir, so you are this big. And nobody knows in the church. He said to us, rich men don't make noise. I heard it for the first time. He said, rich men don't make noise. When you see rich men that make noise, that riches has come on. Because they are silent thinkers. Where comes as he thinketh in his heart, so he is. When Solomon was building that house, that temple, and, and decorated it with gold, he was hearing God. My house cannot be built with anything less than gold. I called a man the other day, and I was showing him this altar. I said, this altar, by what? The article I just finished writing on altar and shepherding. All right? Grace, I just finished typing it. And I noticed that my revelation of God from the pages I read in the Bible and from what God showed me means that every article in the altar is supposed to be an article of gold. And that is placing high value on God. So as he was receiving instruction, he was decorating every component of the temple with gold. With gold. And Rehoboam, his son, when he took over, okay, he removed all the articles of gold and replaced them with brass. Brass looked finer, but in lesser quality. And the Bible says, and God withdraw his presence. Have you ever seen God walk with noisemakers? Noise chases away God's presence. It makes your mind uncoordinated. You lose the help of angel. Even when they're coming, the gates come. Oh, this place is not worthy of me. Then let's wake up like Mahmoudok, who went and built his house in one acre land and put speakers from the gate. And from the gate, you are hearing music. And they asked him why. He said, God has given me a mandate of wisdom. And I need the help of angels by sound music. So the moment the music is on, on the air, the angels will trace the music. Are you hearing me? You want to see angels in the month of June? Stop making noise. Start playing music. Start living what a life. And I tell you, God is going to build you up. Listen finally on this. God will not build and no one physically who has not submitted himself to be built spiritually. Did you hear me? 
Until he succeeds in building you up spiritually, he can't build you up physically. In the month of June, you will become an estate where angels of God will rally around. Where beautiful things of God will be happening everywhere. Where the glory of God will be manifesting everywhere. You will be a house that God shall live in. The Lord shall tread with you. You will not suffer loss. You will go in the company of God. You will be walking in his presence. You will be treading in his presence. You will see the radiant power of his presence. And by his presence, he will be connecting you to opportunities. Your customers will come from the north. Your customers will come from the south. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, when God builds you, four things will happen. Number one, you become God's responsibility. In the month of June, you will become God's responsibility. The Lord will take care of you. The Lord will sponsor you. The Lord will sustain you. The Lord will make you. Are you here? Now, number two, when God builds you, he will cause your gate to be open. To 247. Your gates will be open. Which means you will live with an experience of open doors. Open what? Can I hear someone? Open doors. The Bible says, and your gate shall be open continually. Your gate shall be what? Open continually. Open continually. Open continually. In the month of June, your gate shall be open continually. It means there will be no dull moment. Every day you open your business, you will sell. No one, anyone that, want, that wants to trouble you will be troubled by God. Because when God opens your gate continually, who becomes the gate man? If you are intelligent, who opens the gate? So who is the gate man? So when God is the gate man, who will pass? If it's the one that opens the gates, it doesn't matter who wants to cross by the gate. He knows what to do with the person. So it means that strangers cannot cross. Are you here? Demons cannot cross. Demon carriers cannot cross. The gate God opens has an angel that might. And the angelic eyes is set on it. And they watch on it two for seven. Are you here? The beautiful thing is that when God opens your gate, people you never know can enter through the gate to transact business with you. That's why I say, and strangers, people you have never met, shall be connected to your destiny to add value to your life. This much. You will receive harvest from corridors you have never received harvest before. Stranger shall be connected to your dreams, and the glory of the Lord shall fall upon your life in the name of Jesus. Number three, when God builds you up, when God builds you up. It will cause your light to shine. Your light talks about your personality. You, you know, when you are carrying light, the Bible said in John 1 4, in him was life, and the light became the light of men. The light shined in darkness, verse 5, and darkness could not comprehend it. So you are not going to go to your business and come back and say, There are a lot of forces in the market tonight. You have no explanation to give. Believers have to believe in the possibilities of God. God is not asking you to explain why things are not happening. God is asking you to testify why things are happening around you. It's, and it's because I am present. So when you become a life built by God, you become a, a life planted on the hill of the covenant by God. 
And the Bible say, no matter the darkness around you, nothing can stop you. Are you here? They may have stopped you before now, but they can't stop you this month. And any attempt to stop you this month will be stopped. Somebody, are you here? This is our month. Pastor Mary will be um, 65 this month. Come out here. At, at least for her sake, God will cause this house to celebrate. Are we here? Because together we have worked. And to the glory of God, we have built. A relationship of 24 years in a mission is not yesterday. So I'm very strong in what I'm saying to you. Every one of them, they have respect for one another. Because we are coming from a very strong family foundation. The other say, Mama, yesterday, Mama is a very humble woman, and so on and so forth. It's because they have been able to work together, sacrifice for this work, stay with one another. Are we here? So, I will ask you, stop quarreling. Start living. People who are quarreling doesn't live. They die before they leave. Stop quarreling. Start living. Become a light. Allow your light to start shining. Come on out here. Let somebody start asking you, what is the secret of this, your happiness? Let them know that God has promised you a visitation. Praise God. A visitation. Expect what you have never expected. And it will happen in your life. He said, and the light shine not in darkness. What happened? And darkness could not stop it. This month, you are unstoppable. No, no power of darkness shall stop your light. You are unstoppable. Your life is unstoppable. Your mandate is unstoppable. Your destiny is unstoppable. Are you here? In Jesus' mighty name. And number four, come to our test. Jeremiah chapter 24, verse 6. Verse 6. You know when he said, I will build them. He didn't stop there. And not pull them down. I will build them and not pull them down. Which means, I will establish you and you will never come down again. You understand it? I will establish you. That's what happens. I'm so sure of this foundation. I'm so sure of how we got to where we are. And the, it's the secret of the boldness by which we proclaim the gospel. And I know what God has asked us to do. Sometimes you hear us that we're going to Uganda. It's not that that money cannot be converted to other things. But see, this building will remain. It is what we are able to change when we are alive that matters when we get to heaven. People left Europe, left America to bring the gospel here. Some of them died here, like by 80. Are you here? And the only daughter they have came back and the woman is still in the Elisha there. Praise God. Sacrifice. If you have no sacrifice and attend, and this gospel, you are not committed to it. It's not, it's in your time. I am seeing people, young men, young women, young girls, young boys, driven with comfort for the gospel. In our time, we don't know it. In our age of your age, we are consumed with how do we go about this gospel? Which street do we hit again? Our money, we write track. Our money, we bring track. Our money, we sponsor ourselves together. We journey to go and preach the gospel. Maybe the foundation we are standing today. If you don't take the advantage of this time, I don't know when you are going to become strong. Listen to me. Make maximum use of your time and your age. While we are doing those things, we never talk for any reason. That we're going to start a church. No, it was not in the agenda. The reason to start a church was can only be explained by God. That's why it's an encounter. Because all we were out to do is that the kingdom of God is moving. I lead a youth fellowship 
And in one of our youth convention, a man came, we prayed for, and gave us two brand new buses for the church. Coaster buses, two brand new. It had nothing to do with us. I was in Oshobo, and I, we started a branch of New Covenant Church. And by the grace of God, my pastor returned and said, It's not yet time. He shut it down. We allowed it. And after again, he opened it. The building is still standing there. The branch is still standing there. It is flourishing. Praise God. Now, I want you to know that if God is raising you up, He is building you up. If the reason why you are in church, Oh God, I need a job. Oh God, I want to go abroad. Oh God, I want to marry. Oh God, I need a baby. You are not serious. Be sold out. Be sold out. I will build them and not plug them out. One of our daughter told us in Apollo, Daddy, marriage is not heaven. What is important for me is to make heaven. If marriage comes, fine. If it doesn't come, fine. I noted it. And what will happen is, and I will plant them and not pluck them out. So what is number four? I will establish you. Divine establishment. That's the fourth blessing. Divine establishment. This begins with visitation. The Lord will set his eyes upon you. And when he sees you, he will visit you. When the pilot cannot navigate the strong tower, he, the plane cannot land. Alright? If God cannot see you from the window of the covenant, he cannot visit you. So this morning, return to the covenant. Expect visitation in the month of June. And as he visits you, you will become a global news. He will not visit you to do what he had done before. He will visit you to do what he had never done. Do I have a witness in the house? And by the grace of God, he will set his eyes to monitor you everywhere you go. That no eyes of the witches or wizard can suppress you. And he will build you up spiritually to be yourself, to be contented, to be courageous, and to begin to move. And I've told you four things that happens when God visits you. Praise God. The rest are your own to do. Can we rise to our feet? He has promised he will never fail. I will follow him. I will follow him. My Lord, I promise he will never fail. His faithfulness is forevermore. His faithfulness is forevermore. Can we sing it again? He has promised he will never fail. How we follow him. My Lord has proved He will never fail His faithfulness Is forevermore His faithfulness Is forevermore I am a fool, I am a woman, and 
English version. My eyes have seen. My ears have heard. My mouth will talk about goodness of God. My eyes have seen. My ears have heard. My mouth will talk about the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Amen. From the depth of your heart, can you go ahead and say to God? Thank you again for the month of June. Thank you for preserving my life. Thank you for bringing my life into this convenient season of June 2024. The six month, the mid year season. Father, thank you for bringing me alive with very deep expectation. And that's this much. Lord, thank you for your promises for this month. Thank you for the counsel you have given to me this morning. Thank you for the authority of your power that is prevailing right now. Go ahead and pray. Lord, therefore, as you have promised me, set your eyes on me and my household in this month. Set your eyes on my life. Set your eyes on my name. Set your eyes on my house. Set your eyes on my business. Set your eyes on Dominion Get Family. Set your eyes on our going now. Set your eyes on our coming ahead. Set your eyes on us that we shall not say ever, but we shall behold the wellness and goodness of God and the land of the living. Set your eyes, set your eyes, set your eyes as your pledge. Set your eyes upon me. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Go ahead and begin to pray. Lord, blind every satanic eyes. Contending for my life. Contending for my house. Contending for my family. Every stretch eyes. From the third world. From the third eyes. Oh God. Looking out for me to have me. Lord. Blind them and blind them. I sentence them to divine blindness. I declare, oh God, that I and the children that are given unto me, we are for signs and for wonders, and the land of the living, we shall not behold evil. Go ahead and pray. And so, dear Lord, visit me in the six months as you visited Mary visit me in the six month as you visited Elizabeth and perfected her pregnancy visit me oh God in the six month with a divine visitation visit my house miraculously visit my life miraculously visit my business miraculously visit my dream miraculously visit my hand miraculously what have visited me oh God and establish me for your own glory in the name of Jesus I ask that you visit me and he said that I will build you up can you now begin to ask God build me up and build me up according to your promises for my life Build me up and I shall be built. Said you will build me, and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Father, cause my light to shine everywhere my light has been deep. In the month of June, my light shall shine. In Nigeria, my light shall shine. In Africa, my light shall shine. In Europe, my light shall shine. In America, our light shall shine. Lord, our families, our light shall shine. In Zontu, our light shall shine. In Abuja, our light shall shine. In the states of Nigeria, our light shall shine. Lord, versus us.
pray. Pray and say to God, open my gate continually. In the month of June, everywhere I get have been shot against me. Gate of favor, gate of connection, gate of remembrance, gate of good things. I command them to open her. Open her. Open her. Let the angel of my gate, oh God, be drawn. Lord, open my gate continually. Open my gate. Open my gate. Open my gate. Go ahead and say, God, establish me. Establish me. A miracle that will establish my life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. That's the last scripture. I pray with it and I anoint you and we are done for this morning. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the thought that I think towards you. Do I have a witness in the house? Said the Lord. Thought of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. Not unexpected end. This morning, lift up your hand. Anything set up to destroy your dream unexpectedly. By the word of God in Jeremiah 29 11, I reverse them in Jesus' name. Every mechanical inventions of witchcraft and wickedness. To bring a sudden calamity on you and me. I reverse them in the name of Jesus. In the month of June. God shall exceed your expectations. He shall exceed your expectations. What you are not even thinking about. The Lord shall bring it to your way. He shall be your mode of surprise. You are both of good news. You are both of development. You are both of connectivity. You are both of renewal. In the name of Jesus. Your angels shall not miss you. And I said to you, it shall be your season of encounter. It shall be your moment of encounter. I pray for you. June 2024. She is declared our mode of visitations, our mode of renewal, our mode of good news, our mode of breaking barrier, our mode of, of, of manifold harvest, manifold harvest, and our mode of great celebrations, great celebration, great celebration. What you have never celebrated in 2024, you will celebrate this month. People you have never met, that have never blessed you in life, they will enter your life this month. And they will never withdraw. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. That is our declaration for the new month. Come and receive anointing for your next level. All I have declared, your life shall manifest. In the name of Jesus. All I have declared, your life shall manifest. Before you about the miracles. All I have declared, your life shall experience. All I have declared, your life shall experience. All I have declared, your life shall experience. All I have declared, the goodness of God. All I have declared. All I have declared, my eyes have seen. All I have declared, my ears have heard. All I have declared, your life is serious. 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 My mouth will talk about the goodness of God. Don't you be TV? 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 Don't you be TV?
All I have declared your life shall experience. 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 You on the social media, all I declare your life shall experience. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Your life shall experience. Your life shall experience. In the name of Jesus.